I've just been smashed as soon as the lure has hit the water over the other side. Got him, got him, got him, got him. If you've got to hit there the first time, you don't feel weight, get your lure back. As you can tell, it's getting dark now. This is the prime time between now and... Look at the size on that boy. He's only just pinned well. Look at it. A brief overview of the types of lures that we use. So in front of me here, we have two types. We have a paddler style and a weight bait style. And still water. This is prime hunting area right in front of us here. The pool, we've got current. So we're targeting more identifiable structure. Definitely still in the area. Ooh. Don't strike. Play dead hands and you get that buff, like you just saw that a powerful fish in this waterway. There we have it. He's a nice little fish. That's probably about that. Here's the conduct. Yes! Yep, got him! Hey. Back. Cheers, mate. Look at that keg. Oh, that is a mighty fish. He's got him! Take it easy, take it easy. He's, he's going hard. Now, this long rod allows you to get a lot of distance in your cast. Now, we took confidence in the dark, especially a full moon, because you can see where your these days are getting bigger and bigger before targeting bigger cod. Uh, back is because some of those bigger, massive cod and a lot high, you want to look for those slow pockets of water. Here you can, we get asked this question all the time, what do we do with head torches? Do we shine light on the water or do we not? Is that sits your hook further down in the water column. Can you imagine if you had... This is a good fish. Oh, he's really good. He's, he's close to me, mate. Ripper! He's a ripper! Oh, oh, oh. I cannot believe this. In the Murrumbidgee. He absolutely annihilated and drilled into the timber about half a dozen times. It was a fantastic fight.